Welcome to episode 45 of Friday Fizz. Today we're going to talk about fixing suits, deciding our budget. We're going to talk about loads of viral videos. And we've also got a big announcement for Friday Fizz's future. Home sweet home. So, competition time. Um, congratulations, we've got three winners. You all win a fantastic pen. Fantastic thing about these pens is they've got the dobber on, so you can actually use We've your phone the at the same time. The what on? Like a dobber, innit? What the f a dobber? It was Dan's birthday this week. And he's 21, so he should be 21, happy. yeah. Please say happy birthday to Dan. Um, he's a bit shy. He doesn't like coming on this side of the camera, so um, yeah, so he'll see it in the comments, though. So. Say happy birthday to Dan. Happy birthday! Yeah, so anyway, what happened this week? Budget. Yeah, it's kind of it's one of those things that's still being talked about, isn't it, from, from last week? Um, yeah. It, this was suggested by Donna from the Northern Edge here, I'm pretty sure. At so Northern Edge. Pretty sure I just wanted to see you rant. She's literally just <laughs> yeah, yeah, it up yeah. for another rant. Wait, so, if I um, just hold it like this, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, just just before we get started. Mm. Um, yeah, so Dave, Dave dropped Yo Valley now from his, uh, well, his roster send me any, sponsors. Yo Valley didn't send me any freebies, so f*** them. It's all about the Activia Danone. How yeah. do you say it? Is that Danone? Yeah, that's the one. So it's all about activity. The better your gets anyway, so screw you, your Valley. Um, if Activia want to um, send us any freebies, you can find our address on our website, 24marketing.co.uk. Um, so look forward to those. Yeah, we'll but, clear the fridge out, don't we? Yeah, otherwise, otherwise, next week it'll be a different one and our 5,000 viewers will follow our trend. I'm panicking. Those n****s in grey suits who weren't even f***ing elected <laughs> dictating how we run our lives. Um, I'm gonna have to become a politician at some point. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 To not touch the big corporates who are taking advantage of the loopholes in employment law by making them be self-employed, the likes of uh, f***ing Deliveroo, Uber, yeah. these yeah. massive corporates that you're effectively forced to be self-employed if you want to work with them and they dominate the market so you don't really have a choice but to work for them if that's your skill set um you know I, I went down to london last week watched the vlog um and and like you, down in there i use uber all the time which i probably shouldn't because <laughs> ethically it's, it's probably wrong but anyway i use uber all the time but they are priced at least half less than half mm. so you know, and, and you can just see the amount of cars that are just driving around all Uber. So you yeah. couldn't be a normal taxi driver unless you've got a big contract like the airport contract. It's mad. Yeah, the competition down there now is yeah. crazy. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all just, I hate politics. Yeah. Nobody held, holds them accountable. If, you, if you're running a business or you work for a business and, and you, you, know, you set a target and you don't meet that target, there's consequences. Yeah. Well, why is it different to these guys? Who, they, particularly for the unelected ones. Mm. They should be so f***ing on it. It's kind and of also, expected that they're not going to meet them. Though. Yeah, That's exactly. Well, they, like well just... this is the thing. And this is why we voted Brexit. This is why Scotland won out. Because everybody's just unhappy with yeah. the state of politics. Yeah. But, and we have all we can do is vote, like, mm. once every so often on big things. What, what I can't understand is that nobody's actually turned around and said, do you realise that uh, Brexit, forget the deals, the trade deals, everything like that, to write all the new policies, to set, to employ all the people that's required just to manage the change, is going to cost billions upon billions of pounds. That forget the 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 potential trade deal penalties, forget the tax imports, the exports, and all the other um, things where which they seem to focus on. Nobody's actually saying, but do you know what? Actually, it's probably going to take us twenty years to pay off just the administration process. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so that's the budget. Um, delighted with our politicians and, and the efforts that they're putting in, clearly. So, um, yeah, keep doing the good work, you great. Prime, the question is how do democracies respond to those scandals? Uh, and what will it mean for, uh, for the wider region? I think one of your children has just walked in. I mean, shift it, shifting, shifting sands in the region, do you think relations with the North may change? Um, pardon me. What is this going to mean for the region? Um, North Korea, North uh, South Korea's policy. Choice. So I'm pretty sure everyone's seen it now. It's the professor. 80 million views on the BBC uh, Facebook. 80 million. It's it was just, his reaction. Yeah, it's yeah. the fact you know you just pick the kid up, put him on your knee, yeah. and just keep on chatting, apologise for it, whatever. 
he's so awkward <laughs> and he just couldn't handle it at all he didn't know what to do just like trying to palm it off just go away um but off the back of it he's he's done all right pr wise mm. i saw that it was on the news the other day um they were doing a, a press conference in south korea um they were back on bbc news to kind of with the kids and again the daughter's going crazy again like banging and making noise had anything like this in our life before so they're, they're having a great time living in the line like that so. <laughs> I, saw, I saw a parody which was almost as good which was a kid and his dad stop political democracy pardon them pardon them please please pardon them please pardon them Crufts. Why yeah. the hell have we got Crufts on the top? It's another it's funny video. There we go. Well done, Karen. Look at this. Oh, what a nose dive, and he couldn't care less. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> That's one of the best shots I've seen in a long time. Dog's are going crazy, throwing himself around this course, um, and yeah, it's, it's gone viral for all the, all the right slash wrong reasons. Yeah, so. my, my dog would be like that, just going absolutely nuts. It's yeah. got way too much energy. What no, sort of dog was it? Uh, Jack Russell. Was it? Yeah. Wow. But yeah, just went crazy, throwing himself over the jumps and stuff yeah. like that. So yeah, yeah it's good fun. Watch um, it. I saw a, like a, a, a picture that went so it was shared on Facebook, and it was a picture of the working dog class and it had really long hair and, and pristine blah, blah blah and then people were posting pictures of their actual working dogs <laughs> yeah. next to it which were obviously in, in great shape you know and, and all this sort of stuff mine's a working dog and it, it it's fit as a fiddle and that's how i think working dogs should be should look yeah. maybe we should yeah. ask people to post pictures of the dogs on the comments and we'll pick out a winner from that yes Post a picture of your dog or, or pet of any kind. Uh, if you don't have a pet, then you're sad, miserable, old and lonely, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go and find one. So I look forward to seeing your pet pictures and we'll pick out a winner, Crufts style. Yes. Extended chest, good, firm buttocks. Reminds me of a young Susan Sarandon. BFC in the community mm. and Pendleside are, are doing a community day. Yes, teaming up. Yep. Yeah for the Burnley versus Man United. I noticed you've not used your Man United mug today. It's because it's in the dishwasher, unfortunately. <laughs> Otherwise I would have it. Yeah, Burnley versus Man United. Yeah, it's um, like April 26th, I think. Yeah. Um, and so yeah, on that match day, BFC in the community and Pendleside Hospice are gonna have like loads of events going on on the day um, that the whole community can get involved with. Last year, I think they made like 10, 10 grand or something yeah. on the day. Did they? Um, wow. But they're hoping to double that. Wow. Um, and that helps. It's going to be split 50 50 between the two charities so they can both do the, the amazing work they do. Fantastic. I think they are both Burnley's biggest charities, aren't they? Um, Pendleside is Burnley's um, biggest uh, independent charity, I think. Yeah. So, yeah two and the FC are very, very close behind. Yeah, so it's, a, it's an amazing partnership. Mm. So it's, you know, mm. Pendleside. I think there's there's still a misconception that it's fully funded by the NHS, yeah. um, and it's not. I think we need to raise well, it's well over two million pounds that we have to raise every year, and that's through <clears throat> the kindness and generosity of the public. And mm. um, speaking of which, this morning Pendleside opened its new latest charity shop in Barraford. Mm. Very very excited about that. We had some celebrities opening it for us. Check out the vlog to find out more about that. That was very fun. Lots going on there, it looks great. Loads of fantastic donations, um, you know, from the kind people at Scruples and, yeah. you know, really, really some really quality stuff being donated as well, which is fantastic. Um, we all know Barraford's a bit of a posh area, isn't it? So, um, yeah, it's the charity shop I'd be going to if I was, <laughs> yeah. if I was shopping around. Yeah, so, um, so yeah, dead excited about that. Check out the, uh, the launch, maybe we'll get a snippet in this, I don't know. Other good news is that... Um, oh, right, yeah, I see. Yeah. With Burnley Football Club in the community, we're going to be getting a Burnley Football Club player on Friday Fizz. So we're going to organise, hopefully, a live event where we can get an audience down, we can get a player there, everyone can get involved, ask questions, obviously... We'll do a normal show as well, um, but we want your opinion on which Burnley Football Club player we should get on live Friday. Tommy Ian. Tommy Ian? Yeah. yeah, he's mine. 
yeah, captain and England player, so yeah. that'd be a pretty decent be a big, a big good scoop, wouldn't it? Yeah. What or, about uh, Guan Or Michael Keane. Mm. Yeah, came through the Man United youth system, so we can ask him loads of questions. Not about Man United. Yeah. <laughs> Played under Fergie. He like, must have aspirations to go back. And like... <laughs> Why is it a big good club now? <laughs> I'm not going to say anything to me, Bernie. <laughs> <laughs> Your car would be egged or something. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, that that sounds like it's going to be great fun. Yeah. So, so yeah, so basically, we've uh, we've agreed to be a, a what is it called a, a friend friend of Burnley FC in the community, which basically means we we commit to raise a thousand pounds over the course of a year. Um, so yeah, looking forward, and and as part of that, obviously they try and help us out as well. So they're going to get us a footballer. We're going to do it live on Friday, Fizz. Mm. So we're going to have live on Facebook. Plus, uh, obviously, we'll edit a show for the for the actual Friday event. It might not; it probably be on a Thursday. We'd have to film it on a Thursday, unlike obviously today, where we're filming it on a Friday. Thanks for watching episode forty-five of Friday Fizz. Don't forget to like, comment, and share, and also comment with a picture of your pet to enter our competition. <laughs> mm. <laughs> So, yeah, so Alan Partridge. <laughs> <laughs>